Nairobi, but I'm from Nairobi, Kenya, and this is my city. I am currently working in the area of mediation and conflict resolution. I do research in that area around the African continent, but this really excites me. I really love everything around African affairs and, and development. And when I talk about development, I mean development in every sense of the word. Um, from self-development, how can we be better as individuals? And development in the broader sense where how can we be better as a society, as a continent, and, and the world at large. And um, I'm really grateful to have this platform to, to, to talk about such issues. But in terms of what I do in my free time, I play guitar, I love music. African music, obviously. I also love sports. I'm a sports fanatic, Arsenal fan. Um, so, I mean, that that is me. I'm really excited that over the past few years, Africa rising and the African narrative started to change and people are to talk about Africa and talk about its budget and potential. And there are more people talking about Africa even all over the world and we need more voices from anywhere in the world who can really help us by the The problem is that there have been such a lack of voices. sparking the debate, sparking uh, more engagement around the issues that affect us. I hope to do two things. One is to dispel the negative image of Africa as one of you know, disease, conflict, chronic poverty. And I think over the past few years there's been a concerted effort to really try and change that with more African voices and we do recognize that progress but there still needs a lot to be done to be able to really dispel this negative image. Secondly, I want to be able to help people better understand Africa in all its diversity and complexity, you know, 54, 53 Af African states um, and about over 2,000 languages that are spoken and that's not including dialects. So really the diversity is something that we really need to unravel and to wrap our heads around and even as we talk about different issues. And lastly, and I think most importantly is I'd like people to, and Africans, to take pride in themselves and change the way they perceive themselves. It's one thing to change the way the world perceives you, but if we really take pride in ourselves and change the way we perceive ourselves, I think it's something that will be transformational for the continent. So, well, I, ever since I was a kid, I was interested in African affairs. And I remember uh, on the local TV channel called KTN in Kenya, there used to be a segment or kind of a program called Africa Journal that was run by Reuters. And I was really fascinated by other parts of the continent and I was really wondering why in school they, they, they don't really talk as much about places like Chad or places like Algeria. I wanted to learn more. And hopefully this platform can, can, can serve as a place where people can learn more about Africa and other places that, that people wouldn't be able to access um, on, on their own. Another inspiration as well was uh, the late Komla Dumour. Uh, he was an anchor at BBC Africa and someone I really admire, the way he carried himself with such grace, uh, such honor and would talk about African affairs and world, global affairs really um, so incisively and, and so eloquently and was a key proponent in trying to change uh, the African narrative and I really wanted to follow in his footsteps and I thought why not create something on my own or why not create an initiative that really helps change the mentalities and change how Africans perceive themselves. I hope that you become better informed and have a better understanding of uh, different issues and different things touching the African continent. I hope it will be fun, engaging, uh, educational and, and try to have a uh, kind of a full view of all things Africa. So I'm really excited to, 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 to get this going and yeah, join me on this journey.